Good afternoon to everyone. This is the power of healing with Utabi. Ungowe ketelo. Ukanya unombilo. Ikwalendwa sasobo. Mtombo ugutle godwa. Inkanyezi ya makosi gomdunga. Inkosa zana yelanga ninyanga. Yeah, that's me, eh? So, Ash, it's been... A few days since I recorded a video. Uh, as I promised, we're going to be tapping into the psychic space and we and, and try to look into or share insight on ritual love spells, right? Uh, that are out there. Uh, however, I am getting a cool one. Uh, but yeah, I just, it, it's just a few that I'm going to tap in this coming month, especially when it comes to, uh, the four, uh, psychic clairs and how they work sometimes for other people who are gifted with them. So, uh, with this one, we're going to be looking into the, the clear cognizance and, and clear sentiment, sentient sentient is um the those two gifts because those actually uh, work hand in hand with manifesting someone into your life or being manifest vested into somebody's life because a lot of people are under a ritual love spell or go under a ritual love spell and bangazi which they are being manifested into uh, people's lives so it it can happen that uh um you are manifested by a lot of people with then confuses a lot of uh, with, with with then it makes a lot of confusion in your vibrations or oh, 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 yeah and so we're going to looking into is we're going to look into that the manifestation of someone into your life and the laws of of, of attraction and and laws of vibrations because when somebody is actually using uh, or is attracting your energy to them so i'm going to be touching on that but before i do that um i wanted to say this before Nkotra, if i forget 2023 guys is meant to be a good a good year for for a lot of people or for everyone 2023 Three is meant to be a blessed a blessed year for 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 most of us um if you if you actually feel the vibrations outside uh in nature and and even uh the elements of nature themselves it's meant to be a good year and why am i saying this the vibration of the full moon this year and the sun is actually much different to the other years. It's it's light, and if 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 you are gifted, you would understand that, um, it, or, or you would feel the lightness and the calmness of the atmosphere. So, uh, uh, I'm not going to get into it, Gakul, the full moon and the meanings of the full moon. But if you've taken note of the full moon for the past few months in the sun, you would understand why am I saying 2023 is supposed to be a blessed year. If it hasn't happened in your space, and I, sp I did speak about the harvesting, if it hasn't happened in your space, you need to know why. You need to understand why. And sometimes it's just a matter of aligning your physical and your spiritual so they work together for your good. It's a matter of us aligning your your spirit, your 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 physical being, also with every force surrounding you, every element around uh, surrounding you, to work in your favor. So you need to be worried if you are still experiencing um, some sickness and a uh, lento, sickness and 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 struggles, same as the other years. 
in this year because this year is actually meant to be a good year for a, a lot of us so yeah look into it guys life is all about uh, taking initiative in getting things resolved so you see your progress but at the same time life was not meant for us to struggle for so long there has to be a breakthrough somewhere so if you haven't got yours you need to find out why what's happening and find out with the rank the right people so yeah uh, i was going to talk about uh <sighs> ritual love spells and a lot of people are manifested into people's lives and manifestation basically it's not such a bad idea because sometimes it's just them helping you out uh, uh to project a, a positive energy or, or, or helping you out uh, 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 by means of energy okay so it's 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 it's, it's sort of like positive visualization uh however that we're going to look at also the disadvantages that people or, or the things that people do after manifesting somebody into their lives okay because there is disadvantages now to 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 being manifested into somebody's life so what is exactly a, a, a so when we look at the the law of attraction now we all know the law of attra attraction that everything that i put into mind i say and 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 i uh, um, put positive energy on comes to life and and which is now manifesting is basically a, a, a making something apparent to the scene all right so or or, or or clear of evidence to the eye that's what manifest manifest is uh in, in 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 sorry so yeah i got uh, cut off i got disrupted uh for a while so the video had to stop that i was recording so hopefully i'll be able to match these videos together and just uh continue where i left off as so i was explaining that um manifesting is according to the dictionary making something apparent to the scene or clear of or clear of evidence to the eye right so it's when you bring something to life when you manifest something into happening or in this case manifesting someone into being in your life actually attracting their energy to your life or to your energy so yeah uh that's how money uh, that's what manifesting means so i spoke about the law of attraction and how we know that uh so basically the law of attraction goes with goes hand in hand with the law of vibration whatever that we vibrate on the inside comes forth to life and and is attracted um by the physical eye ne, on the outside so what we vibrate on the inside and what we program ourselves our our, our uh, from the inside what we program and put to mind on the inside then comes out uh or happens on the outside so that what 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 what, uh, what we the, sorry so that is the law of attraction ne? uh and then so when so manifest you can be manifested by someone who has a connection with you so it doesn't mean necessarily much connection it is possible to also manifest somebody you don't know into into having feelings for you or, or, or to be connected to you it is possible uh, but then that that is that requires a certain ritual and a certain set of mind to do that so when it is done to you that you are manifested by people because sometimes it's multiple as i've mentioned and when it's multiple then it becomes a problem to you 
<laughs> so a lot a lot of, of of psychic or a lot of people would say no it has to be from somebody we are connected to not 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 necessarily um because we have a when you have a gift of knowing which is clear cognizance when you have a gift of knowing uh you can actually create uh this person into your mind or, or create this connection with this person um <laughs> So it re that requires a specific technique, and and unfortunately, I'm not going to teach you how, but that requires a specific technique, and it requires a certain ritual that is done, which we call it a love spell, and um, needs also a specific person medica meditation. Sorry, you need to me to meditate on a specific person, ne? So, oh, so then that means when, when, when it's done to you, then you are meditated by a, a specific person into their lives. So it does happen that the person that actually man, manifests you, then you get that connection and you become, um, you have a relationship with each other. Sometimes it's not really about a relationship. Sometimes they just um, meditate, manifest you into your life, into their lives. So you can help them so they can get help from you for something or you can help them with something sometimes it's done uh for business purposes um so there's a lot of reasons why a person would manifest you into their lives uh and sometimes it is for for love reasons right so <sighs> You can actually attract somebody into your life. They can, you can actually be attracted into somebody's life which are, without actually knowing them and, uh, and, and having feelings for them. And I did mention this earlier. And this, this technique is actually done, as I'm saying, it's done to try and help somebody uh, positively ne? in in their lives sometimes they're going through a certain illness sometimes they're going through so certain uh, emotions so then it is it is uh done to help them how out heal and that is actually a technique that is a ritual that is actually done by shamans in a lot of uh, sorry it can't be a shaman and it can't be a psychic in a lot of, of space and and so it's, it's, it's a matter of the energy vibrations that have to be um, the connection of the energy vibrations and the energy vibrations that have to be aligned as well. So this thing, it's, 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 it can be a wrong or it can be done, sorry, it can be done for wrong reasons at the same time. Hence, I spoke about disadvantages manifesting some uh, when when you are being manifested into somebody's life and then it takes into uh, let's say multiple part people into uh, their lives so it, it becomes sort of like the energy confusion now in your space because a city uh you don't know these people or you do know these people but now the connection they are trying to draw connect uh, that that attraction uh, from you and now this other person is trying that so that's why you find that you are you get into a relationship and you feel like you don't feel this person and this is because already there's there's the 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 the, the, the laws of attraction or the or the laws of vibration in, on your side are, are becoming too much from you are being pulled from different directions so that needs to be there, there is a ritual that we call the the bond the bond breaking ritual that is actually done in in psychic to actually cleanse you of that energy uh that cleans you of that energy of being pulled from direction to direction so that your speca your space becomes calm then you are able to actually be in a relationship with somebody without feeling some sort of 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 
uh, 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 energy, a uh, uh, drainage, or you know, so you you vibrate in a positive and a light energy instead of being drained. So yeah, because a lot of people don't really know that they are being actually manifested into people's life. A lot of people don't know. So mm. so now why why does it become a, a disadvantage? It becomes a, a problem when the person that's manufacturing is manifest manifesting you just to use you for other things. So sometimes it's used in 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 a space of of healing or in a space of spirituality when it is done to actually use you for other things other than positive things so they they are actually manifesting you into a, a negative space uh, that is going to uh, that you are going to be used for uh wrong things it becomes a disadvantage if the person that's actually manifesting you uh you can't break away from them so if you can't break away from that then it, it is a problem thirdly uh they become toxic they become toxic to your own uh positive progress so their energy becomes toxic to yours or you find that you get into a relationship with this person that has manifested you because they were ascending in a positive energy vibrations and now when you get into their space they become toxic and they become uh violent towards you and so you didn't you must also remember that you didn't uh allow yourself to to to, to get into this relationship willingly you were drawn your your energy was drawn to the person so obviously now this person uh tends to be toxic then it becomes now something else because the the laws of the universe were used to get you into the space uh now also it's it's a problem when you lose control of yourself and you get to be this person that you no longer know yourself you understand so you get that you no longer know yourself you no longer have control over yourself when you are this with this person so that means that has been done that the, 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 your energy has been uh, manifested so much that you lose control of yourself and now you can't uh, make up what's going on in your own life so without this person a lot of people will say without this person now i feel like my life does not matter or my life is meaningless so we need to be careful guys that even when you are, you are doing it when you are doing the manifesting that you are not going to use this the, this other person as well because then within all these laws there's also karma and uh which goes with the laws of the universe so we need to be careful that when we manifest people into our lives we are not just using their energy for wrong things and we are not just playing with them and playing with their feelings uh so yeah that's that guys i hope i hope i have shed some light into the manifesting of of somebody into a life or being manifested into somebody's life because sometimes it's not just the natural love that you think you are in it's actually a ritual love spell that was actually sent to you uh through a specific technique and you find yourself drawn to this person so it is important that you break away from it and 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 and, and especially if you're not in control of yourself you break away from it and and or cleanse yourself from that energy on it on as we speak about cleansing every day because we go through uh, we, we we meet different people with different energies so yeah i don't know guys but i have i shared um if if if, if i've shared enough but uh yeah i do hope that you do understand that you can't be actually manifested into people's lives and some people uh, like as i said they use a clear sentient as well they use saint so you'd constantly uh, feel this person's present so when you are manifested by this person you will feel their presence you'd feel their aura surrounding you all the time regardless of the fact that they're not here with you so you would feel you would actually smell 
smell something or feel their aura surrounding you so that's that's also being used as as a technique um to get you into that so hence i said this is psychic space this is basically uh <laughs> A different ritual spells because we must understand guys that we are gifted differently and we are gifted with so many things uh depending on whether you are aware of what your gift uh, entails or what your gift uh, uh, has so or what your gift is all about so if you are fully aware and you fully understand how your gift is sometimes people lose their gifts for wrong reasons so i do hope that i've actually helped you out and yeah if you 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 are not in control of of uh, the, the 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 love situation that you are in you might have to consider doing a um bond breaking ritual thanks guys and i do hope you subscribe to my channel and there's going to be new features as you can see on my video there's new features i do hope that that i am equipped enough uh to edit and yeah so make them look professional if i should say so thank you so much and i love you guys bye